We all know GCSE maths questions can be very difficult. However, this one is possibly the most difficult one that has ever been set. It is asking you to find the shaded region between three circles. When you look at the information, how little you're given, you might just look at it and have no idea what to do. We'll just go through this as this questions like this can be very good practice. So we have three circles. Each of them have a radius of four centimeters. So we can just label this here. We are asked to find the, radi the shaded area. So what we can do first is notice that if we join this up, we're going to have an equilateral triangle as each of these three lines are just radius of each circle. So we're going to have an equilateral triangle. Let's draw that out here. Now that means each angle is going to be 60 degrees. So how could we find the shaded region? We can find this shaded area by turning this into one sector. Now to get the area of this sector, the, sh the shaded region, we're going to do the area of the whole sector, take away these two smaller segments. Now how are we going to find the area of one of these segments? So here is the equilateral triangle. If we find the area of this, it is just going to be using half AB sine C and the side lengths are all four. So it's half times four times four times sine of the angle, which is sine of 60. Now we can simplify this. This is a half times 16 times root three over two. So we're going to get four root three in total. So we can just get rid of all this. And we have the area of this triangle as four root three. Now to find the area of that shaded segment, let's imagine we have this. What we have just found is this area. So to get the shaded segment on its own, we can find the area of the total sector and subtract it from this area to give us just that area. So we're going to find we're now going to find the area of the sector. Let's just draw the sector out to the side. Let's label everything up. We have pi r squared for the normal area of the circle. So pi times r squared, which is 16, multiplied. Now, how much of the circle do we have? We have 60 out of 360, which is also a sixth. So if we simplify this, we're going to get 16 pi over 6. Now, to find that squiggly area that I've highlighted, we just do what I said, which is subtract the two areas. So we do 16 pi over 6 minus 4 root 3. To find this area, we're going to have to subtract two lots of those squiggly areas. So we're just going to double this whole thing. So we're going to get 16 pi over 3 minus... 8 root 3 as the squiggly area. Now we just need to find this sector, which also has side lengths of 4 and an angle of 60. And then we subtract them to find just that gray top half. So we've already found a sector like this as it's the same as this. So its area is going to be 16 pi over 6. Now to find just that gray area on the top half, we're going to subtract them. So we're going to get this area is equal to 16 pi over 6 minus 16 pi over 3 take away 8 root 3. Remember to minus the whole thing. So we're going to get that area as equal to 16 pi over 6 minus 16 pi over 3 minus 8 pi over 3. And then we have two minuses for the 8 root 3, making it positive 8 root 3. So we're almost at the answer there. We have this top gray section. 
but we want the bottom gray section as well. Luckily for us, that's going to have the same area. So we just multiply this whole thing by two, giving us our final answer equal to 16 root 3 minus 16 pi over root 3. This was a really difficult question, so well done if you made it this far. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you'd like to see any more videos, and for now, goodbye.